guys take a lot of pride in being logical, but we're not always logical. You know I, mean? I think we make decisions on logic, but not all decisions that we make are logical. No, I think we always, it's always logical. Is it something that the frame through which you are making this logic is pride? Tell me that. So, me, for example, about. like, you're like, all right, this person is trying me. If I beat him up, then everyone's going to know I'm the man. Right. If I see I'm going to get beat, I got my boys anyways. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, you okay. know, you're rationalizing that in your head. That's why, like, you know, you see those videos. Maybe. Where you see those videos, like, the people be like, yo, you were supposed to have my back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's that was one a one-on-one. On one. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the video I showed you. Yo, jump in, because you was getting his ass whooped. And we're like, nah, his own boy's like, nah, yeah, so I'm not going to lie. If that ever happened to me, I'm going to beat y'all asses <laughs> after that, bro. And, and, and it's, I ain't going to lie. You know why? Because that guy can never be tough again. Ever. Ever in his life. Oh, remember that time you got beat? Yes. That's in gonna, front of everybody? That's gonna be, yo, and if he has the kind of friends that most guys have, they will never let that yo, shit go. Motherfucker, you can't act tough. You just got your ass handed to you. Yeah. You know what I mean? You cannot act tough or, again. Or I, I'm tempted to be like, yo, yo, go fight him. I'll take you back this time. I'll get you back this time. <laughs> no, man. I mean, look, I think I, I think what you said is right. You're absolutely right. But it it's more... I don't think that that was... Maybe it is logical, but... But it's more like, or, or unless you want to say your ego operates with logic. I, like, it's like, you know, because I mean, what logic I means you rationalize it. You give yourself a good reason as to why you well, should do this. Well, I mean, okay, look. Like, for example, like, dudes, that's what, like, when they're going to cheat, right? Mm -hmm. They'll be like, nah, man, but if I get out of my system now. Right. <laughs> it's right. like. Well, you know, honestly, I've been thinking about this. Though, and I, I, just that you brought this up. I think that cheating is good sometimes. I think we need a little cheating. I'm going to tell you why. Like, take it off? Take no, out your system? No, no, no. I'm going to tell you why. If you're a good boyfriend, right? I'm going to get in trouble, bro. Why? <laughs> I'm going to get beat. <laughs> I'm going to get beat. L l look at my point of view real quick. I don't want to put pressure on you right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit. I'm gonna, uh, it's, it's, listen to this, though. If you're a good boyfriend, right? And your girl's a good girlfriend. And you have a relationship where you're both very happy with each other and it's all good. We all know that girls pick fights for no fucking reason when everything's going yeah. good. Like when everything's going good, your girl's gonna pick something. You get oh, me? Sure. I don't like the. I don't the, like one the, way you breathe. Is wrong. the one thing that is wrong. I don't like how you fucking flip that egg. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like how you don't fucking tuck the chair back in every time you leave. You know, it's always gonna it's be a weird something. Thing. I think to avoid those, because you know those little problems. At, at least for me, look, speaking for myself, I get mad more at the little things than I do at the bigger things. You know what I mean? Like if you do something little. Like, if you get mad at me for something little, I get so pissed off. Like, it, and I've realized this, I get so mad at, like, little shit that people do sometimes. Like, for example, if you're a complainer, right, and you constantly complain, like, for example, like, let's say, like, this one I hear the most, right? Oh, I'm broke, I'm broke, I'm broke. People complain about being broke all the time. But I am broke. No, no. But listen <laughs> to this. Listen to this. People that complain about being broke all the time don't do nothing about being broke or whatever. I'm, I'm talking about real broke. Like I'm talking I'm, about like the like people that like yo be on overdraft. But, but, uh, people I'm, that are like, wait, I'm let me finish. Lottery. Let I'm me finish, you fucker. <laughs> so people that are like constantly complaining, right, about like being broke, and they do nothing about it, but just say, I can't do X, Y, Z. I can't do X, Y, Z. But then I look at their lifestyle, and I'm like, I scratch the back of my head, right, because that should be getting real itchy. I'll be getting real mad. <laughs> I, I come back, it's like a little bit of skin. Because you've been screaming. Yeah, I'm these. like motherfucker. You're drinking $10 coffees. You're taking trips. You're taking shots on me? You're, no, I'm not, I'm not talking about you. I'm <laughs> talking about, no, honestly, I didn't even know this, but I've, I've been realizing this. A lot of people I follow drink expensive coffee. I didn't know this. I didn't know this was a thing. And so I thought it was just like a Chris thing. You know, like, oh, okay, it's just Chris being a Chris dickhead. Chris doesn't drink This is real. I drink pilong. Okay. Yo, now you want to sell my line, huh? I drink pilong. The people paying $500 a month on car notes. You know what I'm saying? That's shit wild, like man. that. I look at shit like that. I'm like, That's what I gotta I'm say. like, no, you're not broke. It's not, it's not that you're broke. It's that. Look at look at your driveway real quick. Just for one minute. Go look at your driveway and see why you're missing $500. Right? Go look at your bank statement and go look at all those $10 that I'm like, right? You can pull it up by numbers so you're and see coffee Starbucks coffee. It's seven twelve. There's coffee still open right now? There's coffee where there's a will, there's a way, bro. Yo, there, there's a pause up. So, <laughs> I love the fact that you look, considered it. Now, now, I'll give you this. If you're broke and you don't complain about it, cool. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, it's cool. like, it's like, cool. You know what I'm saying? Be broke. Uh, pay your car note. Uh, buy your coffee. All of that shit. 
I don't want to fucking hear you complain about it, though. You get me? You're broke because of you. You're not broke because, like, you've been handed this unfair, like, you know, unjust thing. It's like, no, you're broke because of the decisions that you've made. So why the fuck are you complaining, but then you continue to do the same bullshit? You get me? So those little things that piss me off. So the reason I say this is because when it comes back to it, if you have a perfect relationship, right, where you guys don't really fight about shit, you know what I'm saying? If you want to fight about the little things, you get me? Just so... Because girls will always do this. Girls will pick a fight, Cause bro. Boring. Yes, because they're bored. You got to cheat a little bit. Because that way, when you get in trouble and you fight, at least, you There's know what I'm saying? Reason? You got something from it. Damn. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, it's not like look, because because think about it. Look, you've been doing your job as a boyfriend. You get me? Like, you've been, you've been good. You treat her right. You know what I'm saying? You buy her things. Whatever fucking girls like. I don't know. Kisses on their forehead. All this other bullshit I see on Instagram. I don't know what fucking girls want, right? <laughs> Again, I'm not made for this no relationship life. So I don't no know. one knows. <laughs> okay, okay. So I don't know. You do all this shit that, you know, to you it seems like it's right. But then you're going to get in fucking trouble anyways. You know what I mean? That fight. And, you know, to be honest with you, most girls, they. Was, this is the thing with guys. And this is a rule of cheating. Just don't make it public ever. You know what I mean? Whatever you do, just make sure that shit never goes public. Because the minute that shit goes public, then you're fucked. Take for it. real. You yeah, because girls girls will take it as long as they're not embarrassed. You get me? Like, if that shit's, like, within the home, they, they, they'll they see past... Men aren't like that. Men men get insecure very fast. The first question, uh, you cheat, is going to be like, yo, is this dick bigger than mine? Does he fuck better than me? Does he look better? That's what men care about. You get me? Like, you know when... um I don't know if you've seen, like, interviews and shit like that, right? Like, you know, where a guy was like, oh, well, does penis size matter? That question is not for girls. Like, honestly, guys don't give a fuck if, if penis size matters to girls. Like, that guys just want to hear that shit for themselves. You get me? Like, they just want to know that they fit into this, you know, sex world. Like, they don't really give a fuck about your answer. You get me? Because even if you say no, yes, they're still going to be wondering this question for life. You get me? This is going to be a forever wonder question. So that shit is, like, insignificant. You get me? Again, but but back back to the to the subject, though. The point here is that you're going to fight anyways. So if you if you are in a position where your relationship is good, a little cheating, eh, it's not that bad. You know what I'm saying? It's it not the context. end of right. When you put it in context, it's not the end of it. Now, if you're a piece of shit boyfriend, you fucking scream at your girl. You don't do shit for her. You know what I'm saying? She, you you make no money, <laughs> motherfucker. Yo, you better eat booty, bro. <laughs> eat booty, bro. You know what I'm saying? Do lick toes. You now say put your tongue in between them pinkies and the and the little um ring finger. The all that shit, cause yeah. you know the tightest yeah. toe. That's the tightest toe. That's yeah, where. Go deep. Yeah, man. You know, you gotta do your shit. You know, what I'm, saying? I'm just saying, like, if you're, you know, if, if you're in a good, in a good situation, you know, what I'm saying, a little cheating isn't the worst. If you feel like something's coming up, kiss a stripper in the mouth one time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> why not? You know, what I'm saying? why not? It's not that bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, ha- have your boundaries, cause. Because that shit is coming. You know what I mean? Like, you're going to find a relationship because of a girl. That's why gay relationships, motherfuckers don't ever fight in gay relationships. You know what I mean? When they fight about shit, like I said last time, it's about dumb shit, like sports. You know what I'm saying? They never really fight about, like... Because they're best buds. Yes! They're fucking best friends. You know what I'm saying? That's why pride is so happy. You know what I'm saying? so, like, freeing. You don't see straight people have a, <laughs> a parade. So think about, think about this. rent. 